The Strezlecki South East Gippsland Koala is a remnant population uh, which has not been compromised by the translocation program of the last 90 years. All other koalas in Victorian South Australia are from translocated animals that were descendants of only a few individuals on French Island and, and Phillip Island. So initially by the 1920s the koala was virtually extinct across mainland Victoria. And there were a handful of animals that were put onto French Island but unfortunately over the years um, they became genetically compromised. All those animals have been taken from French Island and other islands and transferred onto the mainland and onto South Australia and those problems have come with those koalas. So because they don't have the pathogens of the wild animal, there's overbrowsing and overbreeding and it's a massive problem at the moment in Western Victoria. Well, there's been a fair bit of work in the last 10 years looking at the unique uh, genetics of the animal from this region. So they are distinctly different from the translocated animals across the rest of Victoria and the South Australian animals in the island populations. Incredibly important animal. All koalas are important, um, but I guess what we're saying is the uh, Streslecki animal is really important in the context of koalas in uh, South Australia Victoria. This is like a koala heaven right here, I mean, it really is. Well, I do it in Mormo National Park, so this is a real hot spot for uh, Streslecki koalas. We're in front of a mountain grey gum, a eucalyptus cypelocarpa. The number one important tree for koalas uh, in the Streslakis is uh, the mountain grey gum, followed by the blue gum, Eucalyptus aglobulus, and also the Streslakii, the Eucalyptus Streslakii, which is the Streslaki gum. Um, a lot of people presume that the manna gum is the number one tree, but those three are that you're most likely to find koala scats or signs of koalas under those three trees. The wild population is threatened by uh, fragmentation, habitat removal and fires. With the weather patterns changing, everything's drying out, longer seasons, more fires. And in peri-urban and urban areas, it's um, obviously threatened by dog attack and predation by foxes and car hit. So it's under uh, enormous pressure. So the Strzelecki Ranges have the least of uh, forested area set aside in Victoria, less than 2%. Uh, where I am now is the Patungalung Forest Park, so that was uh, a 20 year struggle to start getting some areas reserved in the Streslecki, so uh, the Maryvale Pulp Mill is only 20 k's away. It's been a really, really hard, hard, hard battle because we're right in the main breadbasket of, of that pulp mill which has been running since 1937 and has dominated forest politics throughout Victoria uh, for you know, nearly uh, 80, 90 years now. So it's slowly, slowly becoming more and more concentrated and more and more under threat. And what we want to see happen here, we want to see the koalas in, in the Streslak is managed as a separate management unit and managed, uh, we want them listed federally under the uh, EPBC Act, uh, similarly to what uh, animals in Queensland and New South Wales are. And that, that warrants some sort of fe federal protection, whereas at the moment all, we, uh, all we've got here for protection is the Wildlife Act in Victoria. Do we want to save our wildlife and our flora and fauna? That's the question that we have to pose to everybody.